Technique for measuring ankle brachial index. Objective, early diagnosis of peripheral artery disease. Material. This test requires a continuous Doppler device, a sphygmor manometer, conducting gel, gloves, and cellulose paper. The patients appearing in this video are actors. Patient preparation phase. Before beginning, the patient should be informed of the test to be carried out. He or she should remove their shoes and socks or tights and lie on the examining table in the supine position where they will remain resting for 10 minutes or so. Implementation phase. The sphygmo manometer cuff is placed around the right arm. Next, the gel is extended over the brachial artery. The brachial artery is then located with the probe at the level of the bend of the elbow. The cuff is then inflated until the beat of the pulse can no longer be heard and deflated until it is recovered. The value obtained corresponds to the systolic arterial pressure of the right arm. The process is repeated for the left arm. The sphygmomanometer cuff is then placed two fingers above the left ankle and gel is extended over the dorsalis pedis artery. Using the probe, the pulse of the dorsalis pedis artery is located. The cuff is inflated until the beat of the pulse can no longer be heard. And deflated until it is recovered. When it is heard again, the value obtained corresponds to the systolic arterial pressure of the left pedis artery. The left posterior tibial artery is located and the process is repeated until the systolic arterial pressure of the left tibial artery is obtained. The cuff is placed on the other lower limb and the process repeated. Analysis of results. All values obtained are recorded on the examination sheet. To obtain the final result, the quotients between the highest systolic brachial arterial pressure and each of the values obtained from the systolic arterial blood pressure in the lower extremities are calculated. The final ABI value is the quotient with the lowest value of those obtained. Mm -hmm.